And I bet you thought only the rich would see their taxes go up next year. We already know former Fed head Alan Greenspan wants all, all of the Bush tax cuts to expire on schedule at the end of this year. And apparently he is not alone, which has my next guest worried, very worried, so much so that Illinois Republican Congressman Peter Roskam's leading an effort right now to extend the Bush tax cuts for all. That's right, all, everybody. Congressman, what kind of reaction are you getting? Well, a very good reaction on the Republican side of the aisle, and particularly as Republican members have been out in the country um, listening to the country over the past several weeks. Look, Neil, we are upon a date certain on January 1, 2011, when all of these taxes are going to go up. They're going to go up on job creators. They're going to go up on those that are at the lowest end of the economic Stop scale. Stop yourself right the there, Congressman. I want credit. people to be aware that you said something very profound, as you always do on these visits. But when the 10 percent bottom uh, tax rate goes away and the bottom tax rate is 15 percent, all tax rates effectively move up. All tax rates. That's people right. People don't know this. Uh, then, then what happens come January 1? Well, come January 1, take the 10 percent rate right now for those that are at the lower economic end of the of the chain. They're going up to 15 and the ratcheting effect goes all the way up to the top of the tax code. So the way that Speaker Pelosi and the majority are looking at this right now is they're, in my view, they're being passive aggressive and they're saying if we don't do anything, then these taxes will go up. And there is a huge carnivorous drive to get revenues in to the federal government. There is not a group here right now in the majority, in my opinion, that is sitting back thoughtfully saying, how do we best position the United States to compete well in the worldwide marketplace? Well, that, we that, no lead. offense, that's hardly a Fox News alert. You're quite right. But, but I, I think now we have to ask ourselves this question, how this will be done. In other words, how the tax hikes will go into effect, presumably, sir, through a lame duck session of Congress still dominated by Democrats, regardless of what happens in the November election. That, and that, Neil, that, that, that be, midnights this whole thing, right? That would be a disaster, and it would be an outrage, particularly if the American people have spoken, as I think they're going to this November, in terms of new leadership well, in the United States Well, what would a lame duck House session care, though? If a lot of those guys were voting Oh, no, out, you're right. What would they you're care? You're right. Well, a lame, a lame duck session is a dangerous uh, group of people to bring together from a, from a fiscal point of view. And think about what, what the backdrop is. You and I are having this conversation right now amidst a Congress that has not passed a budget. And that's just an outrageous thought to think about it in, in light of all the difficulties that the American public and businesses are facing. They've got a budget, they've made tough choices, and yet this majority has said, we're just not going to pass a budget. And I think it's very easy to imagine that they could also say, we're just going to let these tax hikes go up. And, Neil, think about it, because it's not for just everybody. The In that case, it potentially could be for everybody. So, so there is another scenario that's been, I've heard uh, behind the scenes, whatever your goals, sir. And one is to delay those tax hikes going into effect for everybody for a year. How real is that? Um, in other words, this notion, wait till the economy shows more footing. What do you make of that? Well, we had a meeting last Friday with job creators. Leader John Boehner, Aaron Schock from, Indi from Illinois and I hosted a gathering of job creators here in the Capitol to hear from them. And they argued this. They said uncertainty is as bad as bad news. And there is so much uncertainty. And you hear it from guests, Neil, all the time. People who are saying they're sitting on the sidelines. They don't know what the ground rules are in terms of energy policy or health care regulations or the tax code. We're seven months almost into this tax year of 2010, and the tax code is completely ambiguous. You're, a, you're right an executive trying to make a decision about the research and development tax credit. You don't know if you're a foot or horseback right now. So this is, a, right. this is a majority that's completely squandered what's been entrusted to them. Which could explain why so many bosses, Congressmen, are sitting on about one and a half trillion dollars in cash. They're keeping their powder There's dry. a lot of money on the sidelines. Thank you, sir. It's always a pleasure.